Hey there Honda owners, today on your 2020 Honda Passport we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Koenig XB16 snow tire chains. The XB snow tire chains from Koenig are going to be a full coverage design with a diamond pattern. That's unlike the ladder pattern chains which simply run across. This diamond pattern is going to give you these diagonal sections. It's going to provide more coverage on the tire and make them great for handling in the snow and ice, particularly going around corners. They are an SAE Class S snow tire chain, which means they're suitable for vehicles with limited wheel well clearance like we have here on our Passport. And that's what we're talking about is back here behind the tire. You want to have this if you've got limited clearance so that you don't have any interference with any components back there. Now just because it is smaller links doesn't mean it's not suitable for that snow and ice. We do have nice shape on our links here that's going to help bite into the snow and ice. It's not as aggressive as the larger square link tire chains that you'll see out there, but there's a trade-off in that this is going to provide you a much smoother ride than those chains. I really like the self-tensioning design, particularly with entry-level snow tire chains like some of your cable roller styles. They're not going to come with a tensioning device. It's going to be a separate component you have to buy and add on separately. This features an integrated tensioning device that's going to keep your tire chains tight on your tire going down the road to give you that peace of mind that they're not going anywhere. Now your Passport is an all-wheel drive vehicle and when consulting with the owner's manual they do recommend putting tire chains on the front of the vehicle so that's what we've done today. It is a very simple installation. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. The first thing you'll want to do is lay them out to make sure there's no kinks or tangles in them. That's going to make it a lot easier when you go to install them. The last thing you want is to find that it's bound up somewhere. Now you may notice that we are inside today. Now ordinarily you're not always going to have that luxury. If you do find yourself on the side of the road installing these I recommend wearing a pair of gloves. If you are able to do it at home in the garage that's ideal before you get headed out. But what you want to do is after you've ensured there's no kinks or tangles you'll take the end with the yellow spacer on it and we want to feed that around the back of our tire so that we're able to grab it on the other side. Then I'm going to take my yellow end and my slotted end and mate those two up here behind the tire. Now you notice not at any point that I have to go lay on the ground or fish around behind the tire, which is something I really like about these. There's much less me to ground contact when I'm installing these. We can go ahead and make our first connection, which is our two red links here at the top. And then we'll come down and finish our connections by taking our tensioning device and opening it up, putting our gray chain in there, pulling it as tight as we can get it, and then our loops here. We may not need to use them both. It looks like, actually it looks like we might, um, depending on your tire. You may not have to use them both to get this tight, but once you put it through there then you'll take the hook to end with the rubber and stretch it across and hook it to the chain with the hook facing out so that way you don't have to worry about it scratching the rims on your tire. Now we've got this installed. We're all set over here. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. Then we're ready to safely hit the road. And that's going to complete our look at the Koenig XB16 snow tire chains for your 2020 Honda Passport.